Before we begin, this video is sponsored by Candle House Collective. We at Site42 are excited to team up with CHC again to introduce you to another one of their unique theater experiences. On with the video! Hey there Site42 fam, Sherm here and welcome to Dr. Sherman vs. Lennox Mutual Episode 2. If you haven't seen Episode 1, make sure to go check that out because today is going to get weird even if you have all the context. Without the context, I can't even imagine. So there's a playlist now, go check it out and come back, I'll see you when you get here. Good, you're back. So, episode one by itself. Crazy, surreal, brain melty, a lot to chew on there. But there's a couple things in general that I'm focusing on going into episode two. Starting with the theme of time. So, there's a lot of different time-related theming going on here, and we gotta figure out what that's about. So there was obviously, they asked me questions about do you experience time faster or slower or the same as other people? Time dilation stuff. Also, as the commenters made me aware of, that Mountain with the Bird was the Shepherd's Boy poem from Brothers Grimm featured in Doctor Who, which was pretty cool. And then finally, we have the different calendars, which the commenters informed me, because I didn't know this, that they were the Gregorian calendar, the main calendar we all use, and then the Jewish calendar, and the, maybe it was Islamic calendar, I don't remember. And then finally, the length of the entire universe. So they were all correct from different points of view. And I wonder what perspective of time has to do with everything, especially because we had that time dilation. Do you experience time at the same point as other people's thing? So that'll be interesting to look at. Moving on. Next on our list of missions for episode two is to try to successfully make an appointment. Last time they said we were one thing away from successfully doing so, but they didn't tell us what was wrong. And there were a couple things I can think of that it might have been. It's unclear. So we're just going to cover all our bases. Number one, we need to find the proper hours they are open. Last time we checked the hours of operation, they told us they were closed, but they didn't tell us when they're open. We need to find that out. Next up, we need to find the directions to the meeting because they said we need to know where to go. And right now we don't know where to go. So we got to figure it out. Now these are smaller ones coming up next, but they said that we need to have our lights off, which we'll do our best while recording to make the studio dark. Wink. And also they said that we need to lock our door. That's an easy fix. So with those four things that we're trying to do there, we will hopefully be able to make an appointment either this time or next time if we figure out all the goals. Now, the last thing we're looking at is my major priority this round, the extensions. You see, one thing unique to me against most people who are looking at this is I live for music. I'm a music guy, I said. I have been a wedding singer professionally. I teach ballroom dancing in my day job. I know songs. I know a lot of songs. I live in karaoke bars. So when that first extension example that he gave was the lyrics to Be On The Sea, I was like, oh my God, we've listened to so much music on hold. They've referenced songs. And now we're going to deep dive because this is my area of expertise. So we got a couple songs to look at. I'm going to give you a list of them in order that I'm going to try them because I've decided randomly what my priorities are today. They gave us Smile by Charlie Chaplin. They gave us As Time Goes By by Dooley Wilson, I think. Uh, correct me on that synth if I'm wrong. We have New Radicals, You Only Get What You Give, which is hit one of his things was that you have to give as much as you get and get as much as you give or something like that. So I think that's a reference to the song. We'll try it. We have Beyond the Sea, which that's an example, so it's a low priority because I think it's just an example, but it's on the list to try it. And then Nirvana's Come As You Are is another option. So all of these songs, uh, it might be too much to do in one episode. It might bleed over into the next, but I gotta think that some of these are extensions that we gotta try out. So with that in mind, I think it's time for the call to come in. Mm. Well, there they are. Hmm. I go for a pizza after this. Ahoy, ahoy. Hello. Please confirm your name. Sherman Christensen. Hello, Sherman. Please state your postal code. Thank you, Sherman. It's good to hear your voice. Now, 
We experience a life-threatening emergency during this call. Please hang up and dial 911. If at any point during this call you experience a psychological emergency, please notify me and stay on the line. Calls are recorded for training purposes, legal indemnification, and quality assurance. Knowing this, Sherman, do you consent to this phone call? Yes. Welcome to Lennox Mutual. Please hold. Thank you for holding. The sound you just heard was the start of your timer. You have 20 minutes remaining on this call. Spend your time wisely. Now, please listen carefully to our main menu. Our options may have changed, though not in the way you might think. If you know your party's extension, or if you already know what menu option you want, you can choose either at any time. Let's Let try an extension. Like... Okay. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by. I'm sorry, but this extension is not accessible to you at this time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Would you like to file a complaint? Yes. Okay, please hold. For holding. Don't forget to breathe. Lennox Mutual takes your complaints very seriously. Let's make sure you reach the right resource. Please select one of the following words that best describes your complaint. Confusion, frustration, fear, or disappointment. Disappointment. Okay. We regret that you are disappointed. Please select one of the following disappointment-related grievances. One, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Two, I thought I would feel something. Or go back. I thought there would be something here. Okay. You feel that our customer service call leaves something to be desired. Is that right, Sherman? Correct. That sounds frustrating. Can you tell me a little more? Well, disappointing is more like, but I imagine that that extension would lead somewhere. And to find out that it is not accessible, I would like to know, why not? I see. It can be disappointing when we don't get what we expect or what we want. But Lennox Mutual is here to make that feeling feel a little better. What was the first thing you heard when you answered this call? The hold music of Smile by Charlie Chaplin. And after that? A greeting from my representative. Your representative, how would you describe the sound of your representative's voice? Pleasant. Pleasant? 
Thank you. Were you expecting to hear a voice that's pleasant when you picked up, or were you expecting something else? I was expecting a pleasant voice after my previous call was a very pleasant voice as well. I'm glad. Have you ever been told that you have problems with your vision? No. Except for last call when I was asked the same question. And how did that make you feel? Well, the first time it was a fine question, and I answered that I did not have problems with my, or have not been told I had problems with my vision. But then it came up again the second time, and I was a little confused. And now that it's come up a third time, I am becoming more confused. Do you feel safe? Are you relaxed? I feel safe and relaxed. Are you twiddling with a pen? Yes, I am. Do you feel like you're being watched, Sherman? Well, I didn't until now, but I imagine that it was making a sound, maybe? You have 14 minutes and 41 seconds remaining on this call. Is 14 minutes and 41 seconds a lot of time? Not at all. I see. Are you worried you won't find an extension that's valid before your 14 minutes and 41 seconds runs out? Well, if I were to worry about that, I should go back and try another extension pronto. Last question. Do you know how many minutes are in eternity? I do not. has been submitted to our quality assurance department. He will review it at his earliest convenience and may contact you directly to follow up. In the meantime, Lennox Mutual says, if you know your party's extension, you can provide it at any time. Extension, let's try this one. You must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. I'm sorry. That's not a recognized extension. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's try an extension. Okay. Don't let go. You've got the music in you. One dance left. The world is gonna pull through. Don't give up. You got a reason to live. Can't forget. We only get what we give. Are you a singer, Sherman? Yes. Do you like the way you sing? Yes. I do too. Thank you. I'm sorry. That is not a recognized extension. Let me know if you'd like to hear an example of a recognized extension. I've got one more extension in mind to try. Okay. Come. As you are, as you were, as I want you to be. Please hold. you for holding. I want to tell you a story. It's about a young child who liked to answer questions. Do you know that one? I do not know that story. 
the story follows. A long time ago, there was a poor child who liked to answer questions. And this was convenient, because though the poor child was all alone in the world, they happened to be very good at coming up with answers. Some people called them wise, while others preferred words like peculiar. But in time, there were so many words said about the child that they reached all the way to the king in his castle. The king, a blind man, was dying, and he had no heir lined up to take his throne. So he called the poor child to his court. When the child arrived at the castle, they were given clean clothes and a warm bowl of stew spooned out of a giant cauldron. And when the child was dressed and fed, they were taken to the bedside of the blind king. And the king said, I have a few questions of my own for you. Will you answer honestly? What do you think the child said, Sherman? I would think he said yes, he would answer. If you answer honestly, said the blind king, and your answers are meaningful, you can come live with me here in my castle. And when I pass away from this place, if you like, you will be welcome to take my place on the throne. Are you ready? The child nodded. First question. At what time of day are you most beautiful? What time do you think the child said, Sherman? Hmm. I think the boy probably said, hmm. Morning. Why? I would imagine the golden hour. It's very good for filming. It's when people look their most beautiful. There's a golden hour in the evening, too. There is, in fact. And from the perspective of either way, it could work, depending on which way you're coming from time. The king shook his head, intrigued. Second question. What frightens you about traffic lights? What was the child's answer, Sherman? The risk that they will be ignored, which brings danger. The king narrows his eyes, nodding. Third question. What season will it be when you die? What season did the child reply with? Winter, for it will be the winter of my decline. The king turned his face to the warm light of his window, snowflakes falling like ashes on the ground outside. Last question, said the king, without turning back. How many minutes are in eternity? The child went quiet and closed their eyes. It wasn't that they didn't know the answer, it was that they did, and the stakes were so high. A castle, a throne, and a cauldron of stew all riding on the back of a story. But when the child opened their eyes, the king was staring at them. And though the child knew, the king couldn't see. The expression on his face was like looking in a mirror. And the king repeated, How many minutes are in eternity? So, the child said, Somewhere. The sound you just heard means our time is up, and this call has come to an end. Before you go, 
Do you have time to participate in a quick survey? Yes. Do you feel like you spent your time wisely? I would say I am fairly certain I spent my time wisely. Really? That's very confident of you, Sherman. Hopefully it's not foolhardiness. Why are you so sure? Well, I methodically answered some questions of my own along the way, and I am disappointed that I reached the limit before the end of that story, but to the best of my ability, I gave the best I had. And that's all you can do. Thank you, Sherman, and call again soon. Remember, with Lennox Mutual, your time is yours to spend. No strings attached. Until next time. Hmm. 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 Okay. So, overall, I'd say this was... Probably less of a surreal and eventful call than the first episode. Now, they did still stalk me with my pen spinning, so I wonder how much they stalk everyone else who does this show. Oh my word. So, with that, it was kind of less eventful, but it kind of wasn't less eventful because we approached this like a workman, we were puzzle solving, and we covered a lot of ground with the extensions because I had like seven extensions and we covered them all. Next time is a time for action. We are going into episode three, full throttle on trying to get an appointment. We got to get the hours of operation. We got to get the directions and we have got to make sure the door is locked, which it is. And the lights are on. If it isn't, 20 minutes is really nothing. Oh my word. And oh yes, and we can't forget the shepherd's boy. They did the shepherd's boy whole story this time, except Having me answering it, that was a trip, and I, I gotta admit, I felt a pretty wise up there with my answers, but jokes aside, it seems we got through it, and I might need to do Come As You Are extension one more time, if only because we didn't get to the end of the story, and so I don't know what happened there. So I'll think about if we want to do Come As You Are again to get to the end of the story, or if I just want to dive at the hours and directions. But I'm going to look over the tape this week, just like I did last week. We'll see what we get. Leave your comments and ideas. Remember, I'm not checking the subreddit. If uh, Please don't spoil me with the subreddit. If you want to do your own calls and check the subreddit, go ahead. But if you're doing the Site42 version of this with me, leave it in the comments. And let's solve this mystery. Uh, this has been Theron Sherman at Site42. See you in the next video. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.